we're not going to engage in conversation while you're in violation of policy. So if you're not in violation of policy, I'm not saying that we will be in conversation, but we're, we're definitely not, you know, while you're not in, in compliance. One more minute of your time. On your walk back to your office in Day Hall today, you're going to pass by Willard Strait Hall. And if you can step into the alcove, there's a plaque just to the right that celebrates the armed occupation in 1969 of black students in Willard Strait Hall. Um, that was something the university condemned and fought at the time, but now they celebrate it. It's a part of our legacy. It's a part of what allowed for our Africana Studies program to develop, what allowed our student government and student power and the governance of this university to develop. And I'd like you to maybe just take a second to reflect on what you're doing. You've said you don't want to suspend students. You don't want to effectively deport and evict students. Uh, I hope you don't, because if you do, it will be a permanent moral stand on the legacy of this university forever. 100%. Thank you. The, the tents here have to go, um, you know, and you know, and if not, you know, then here's what our next steps are going to be. That again, my hope is that you know we can avoid that and you know not have that occur. But you know, that's the process that um, that, that that we're going to be uh, following. Like we have been crying and not been getting uptick. We haven't been hearing responses from emails. We haven't been like hearing responses from the president for messages, right? So like we are here in good faith. And it, it may not seem that way, but what will what will drastically change the temper on temperature on campus I think is so many of us facing yeah. And that's not, to be clear, I'm not trying to sound like that. I just realized that that could have come off. I'm just trying to say, like, for the sake of the community of Cornell University, especially communities of color and anti-Zionist Jewish people and, like, every marginalized group that we have here, I think that it's important that we, to note, just to note and to emphasize to the admin that we are here in good faith. Can I just add one last thing? I would like to reiterate the immense Jewish presence that exists in, in this camp particularly, and the large, I mean, there's a, there's a pretty hefty anti-Zionist Jewish community on this campus as well. So I would just like to put a comment out there that people that, you know, call in and write complaints um, on behalf of the Jewish community as a whole do not actually represent us. And the Jewish community is not a monolith in the slightest way. And there is a very significant portion of us that are standing in solidarity with this action and we're involved in this action um, and we'll continue to stand in solidarity with Palestine and the demands that we put out. So just want to make that clear um, as a Jewish student that identifies as someone that's not fine. So. We have a lot of students with a lot of different views and in listening to and getting input, I have to, to the, all of us in administration need to really be agnostic to an issue of what that means and look to what it means for the overall student body without making decisions that are just part of it. So say that, that can mean, you know, that, you know, obviously we know and understand that you feel very strongly about some issues, um, you know, but, you know, does that represent the majority of the community? That's why we have the referendum po po policy so that we do see, okay, we have a majority of students who voted, voted for the two referendum that you have. So that now, you know, moves forward with that process. So regarding folks who are in that demonstration who are not students, uh, folks who are faculty, folks yeah. who are not even involved with the Cornell community at all, what's the university's plan for those people? Because if I'm a student and I find out that I have a faculty member who's chanting from the river to the sea, and I've seen that, free, I've seen my intifada, professor do that, and only one solution, intifada revolution, how am I supposed to feel safe as a Jewish student on this campus? Not when it's just the students, but when it's the faculty, when it's the professors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How am I supposed to feel safe? Yeah. We saw, we saw I, Professor Rickford here earlier today yeah, yeah. No, giving a speech him. and yeah. inciting violence. I, I appreciate you saying that, you know, obviously you want to represent everyone's views, and I feel the same way, but I think there are certain instances when there are clear violations of rules and laws, and I just think it's unfair that they're not being enforced. Yeah. I wouldn't say that they're not being enforced. They may not be enforced on the timetable that you might prefer, um, but that doesn't mean that we're not enforcing the like, policies. Why does there have to be a timetable? Like they're doing wrong. They're breaking the law. Like they should yeah. be suspended right now. Yeah, I like agree. you know, they might like this is giving them attention. This is giving their like this is giving them. Like motivation to keep doing this. If you're going to suspend them five days from now, it makes the past five days worth it. Even it doesn't make sense. Suspension. This is an act of public safety issue. Yeah. And you want to be the type of school like Vanderbilt or even UT with the National Guard like attacking you make it a immediately. Stance against this. Versus letting being the rest of the Ivy League and letting it happen. This is the erosion of our generation and of our like 
idealism as an educational place. Like Cordell's looked at from, I went to Israel and the IDF was apologizing to me. Yes. They feel sorry for us. They were asking how I was doing. Like, That's you, a problem. You should be setting an example for the rest of the country of what to do. That's like all we're asking is to take action because we don't want it to be like Colombia. We don't want to incite violence. Like, like you can put a stop to it today. Like, why are you? They're just asking for attention. That's why their numbers are quadrupling. I mean, listen, we know that you're putting in all your effort. Like, and we appreciate you having this open dialogue with us. We want to have open dialogue with them also. Like, why don't we all sit across the table and, and converse? Like, students who are on an Ivy League campus. Yeah. All right, well, I, I appreciate your, um, your position. And I um, believe we're factoring all that in with our process. We appreciate process, you know, All we ask is for your time.